Okay, this video is about finding the x and y intercepts of rational functions. Okay, y intercepts. You should know what a y intercept is, but in case you don't, it is the point where the line crosses the y axis. So that's always a zero and then some value for y. So if you have a graph and the line crosses, this is your y intercept right there. Okay, now to find y intercepts of rational functions, you're going to set x equal to zero in the whole equation and just solve it for y. We'll do some examples in a minute, but here's the basic rule for y-intercepts. Set x equal to zero, solve it for y. For x-intercepts, x-intercepts is the point where the line crosses the x-axis. So if I have a random line here, where it crosses the x-axis is my x-intercept. So my x value will be something, the y value will be a zero. To find x-intercepts of a rational function, you're gonna set only the numerator, the top of the fraction, equal to zero and solve it for x. Okay, you don't do the bottom because that would make it undefined. We just worry about the top for x-intercepts. All right, so here's some examples. We're gonna find both kinds, so I put a reminder up here. <clears throat> f of x equals two x squared over x plus one x minus one. It's already factored for me, which is nice. Now I do y-intercepts set every x equal to zero. So two times zero squared over zero plus one times 0 minus 1. Well, that's just 0 over 1 times negative 1, but 0 over anything is 0. So remember, this is my y value. So then my y-intercept is 0, 0. Okay, x-intercepts <clears throat> just set the top equal to 0 and solve it for x. So I do 2x squared equals 0. Divide by 2. x squared equals 0. So x is 0. So my x-intercept in this case is 0, 0 as well. Doesn't always work like this, but sometimes it does. Another example, finding y-intercepts first, set every x equal to 0. So I have 0 squared plus 0 minus 2 over 0 squared minus 0 minus 6. So what I really have here is negative 2 over negative 6, which reduces to 1, positive 1 third. Remember, this is a y. This is my y, so my y-intercept is 0, 1 third. For x-intercepts, just the top, set it equal to 0. x squared plus x minus 2 equals 0. It's a quadratic. I have to factor. So what a times c is negative 2. What two numbers multiply to give me negative 2, but add to give me positive 1. So we have positive 2 and a negative 1. Divide by a x in the bottom, read it up. x plus 2, x minus 1. Now I set each factor equal to 0, so I'm going to have two x-intercepts. This is like we did on graph sketching. So x is negative 2, x is a positive 1. So I have two. x is negative 2, comma 0, and x is positive 1, comma 0. It's pretty common to have more than one x-intercept and only one y-intercept. That's a normal thing. Sometimes it's only one and one. This one's for the whisk. Okay, y-intercepts, x-intercepts. You can do this. You have to be able to factor. If you're struggling with factoring, please come and see me. It is essential that you get this down for where we're going in the next week or so. You have to be able to factor. So work on this, and we'll see you in class tomorrow.